Remember to click subscribe and notification button for more APAS video. Cooking APA. Hi, this is Cooking APA. Today I'm going to make a very simple fried chicken. I remember there was one um, restaurant, a uh, Zap Thai rest restaurant in uh, Putri Wangsa, Johor. Uh, last time that sells uh, one of their signature dishes, their uh, fried chicken. And I love it so much. And now when I think back, I actually know what it is made out of. It is actually made out of this thing. This is actually the red fermented bean curd, right? So what you need to do is just to marinate it with the red fermented bean curd, uh, coat it with some flour, deep fry it, done. Three, four hundred grams of chicken wings here. And you will notice I did something to the chicken wing. First of all, I separate the wings and the drumlet. Secondly, I actually make few slits on the wings and also on the drumlet itself. Now, why I do that? Because number one, uh, I don't have time to do marination today. So I will just let it marinate for a few minutes. So this way I actually slit it open so that the flavor can go into the chicken easier. Secondly, it can add, there will be more surface in contact with the oil later so it can get cooked faster as well. And why I want the chicken wing to get cooked faster today? Because the moment you use a uh, red fermented bean curd to marinate your meat, uh, the meat can become uh, very dark, very dark color when you deep fry, very fast. So this is why I want to uh, make sure the chicken uh, also get cooked faster. I'm going to use uh, the fermented bean curd, at least one big piece. Okay, well, at least one big piece of fermented bean curd and some of the sauce. If you don't have sufficient sauce, it will be good if you can have some red yeast sauce. This is actually the red yeast sauce. Any brand will do. But this is optional because the main flavor, it is still the fermented bean curd, yeah? This is actually the, uh, the sauce they use for the fermented bean curd actually. So we have the fermented bean curd here, one piece. And I'm going to put in a bit of oyster sauce, some saucing wine. If you don't take alcohol, then you don't use saucing wine. You just uh, put in uh, water few dashes of white pepper and something very important here you need to give it some sweet tinge so I'm putting in sugar and a little bit of salt and I will also add in my favorite Vietnamese fish sauce give it a few drops here all the ingredients I use I'll put it inside the video description okay so don't worry everything is listed out for you and where to buy them online so we're going to mix, make sure you mix everything up and everything here including the salt and also sugar is nicely uh, melted and di uh, dissolved in the sauce. We're going to put in the chicken and you want to uh, make sure your chicken is nicely coated with the marination. Yeah? Later we will discuss what's one very interesting topic. Why is it, uh, why is it sometimes when we deep fry chicken, there will be some blood oozing out? Let me tell, uh, tells you the logic behind and what happened. And what are the things that we can do to uh, prevent it, yeah? To avoid it. I have some rice flour here. So what you do is you can take a piece of the marinated chicken, coat it nicely. See, this is actually the drum it, but I actually slit it open and you can uh, pat away the excessive flour and you put it aside let it to rest you just do the same thing with the rest cover it nicely give it a few pats give it aside so prepare some oil. We are going to deep fry using a medium heater oil, somewhere around 140 degree or maybe slightly lesser is okay because like I said earlier, this one can get burned or get darker very fast. So 
how do you know? Well, you put a chopstick inside, and you are going to see some very small bubbles. Okay? Then we can start putting in the chicken. We'll flip it over. Now let's talk about the topic just now. Many people ask Appa, Appa, how come? Uh? Ah, see something like this you're looking at. I'm not sure if you can see very clearly. You actually start to see a little bit of uh, blood oozing out from uh, the joints of the, usually it's drumstick or drumette. Usually. Lah. Sometimes uh, chicken wing also have. Usually it comes out from the joints. So let's talk about it. How come there are blood that ooze out from the chicken? even after you defrost. Now, how to avoid that? First of all, if you really want to fully avoid this problem, then always use a freshly slaughtered chicken from the wet market in the morning. Like that, it never happen. So why? Why is that only frozen chicken will have this problem? That is because um, even though when after we have defrost the chicken, right, the blood inside the vein, which is very close to the bone, it is still not defrost yet. So, it is actually two temperature. So when we deep fry the chicken, um, the, the, when the chicken is cooked, the, 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 uh, the vein, the blood inside the vein just started to defrost. So that is why it actually started to uh, ooze out. So that is the problem. So is there a way for us to really reduce the problem? See, this one actually quite obvious. This piece is actually quite obvious, you can see, right? Is there a way to really fully uh, avoid this problem? Well, some people, they, they say uh, they will actually steam it first, then only they fry. Well, they probably will solve some of the problem, but very mahuan if you ask me. <laughs> um, fr frankly speaking, it doesn't happen to all the chicken. It, like, like you are seeing from here, one, two, three, four, five, six. Out of six, you only, six, you only see one or two. Uh, okay, this one have a little bit. See the black color? Do you see the black color? Okay, that's the blood oozing out. So out of six, you got um, two pieces here got this problem. So frankly speaking, if it's um, home cooking, I don't really mind, uh, seriously. <laughs> Some people, when they were washing, using flour, this and that, but seriously, when the blood inside the vein, it is frozen, it is frozen. Uh. You wash with flour also, it's not going to wash away the blood inside which is frozen inside the vein. This is approximately three minutes. Notice we are having some beautiful color right now. Not too dark because I'm using uh, medium to medium low heat yeah, to slowly deep fry this. I don't want it to be too dark. Some of you may ask me, Appa, how come freshly slaughtered chicken don't have this problem? Because slaughtered, uh, freshly slaughtered chicken uh, both the, uh, the blood inside the vein and also the meat is having the same temperature. So when you cook it, uh, both of it is going to get cooked at the same time. So you won't see any blood oozing up. This is my uh, deep fried chicken wings uh, with fermented beancurt. If you like my video, do share my video out on your Facebook to your friends. Come to Cooking Appa Facebook fan page to click like and follow button, follow up on Instagram and subscribe to Cooking Appa YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Bye bye.